Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about preparing your walls for painting. I hope you enjoy. seen in previous videos we're still in our little room we've had all the um, stripped all the wallpaper off it was very hard to remove we'll put a video link up in the corner to that video of what I did to remove the hard to remove wallpaper on here um, it was quite good it made it a very easy job uh, also we've been round we've filled in all the holes chased out some of the cracks which is another video as well uh, we've chased out the cracks to make them bigger and fill them all the little holes are filled yeah, so after we did that crack, um, you saw us, after we sanded that down, basically went around the whole of the room with 120 grit sandpaper. Um, on the ceiling, there was still like a lot of flaky paint left, so we actually used like an 80 grit sandpaper on there, um, hoping that's all nice and smooth now. It all looks smooth. I mean, th this is the thing with these walls. I mean, that wall doesn't look too bad. Most of the sort of paint's come off over there. But when you look at this wall, you can see it's like you've got all flecks and bits of paint that have come off and left behind. But if you run your smooth finger over them, now that I've sanded all this down, they are actually very smooth. Although you can see all this pattern, you think, blimey, that's not smooth. But, you know, run your hand over it. The back of your hand is more sensitive than the front. Run your hand over it, you can feel everything is nice and smooth. All the, all the filler that I've put in, sanded down, that is all nice and smooth now. As you can see, you can see by the back of my hand, everything is now still dusty. So, we have just got ourselves a bucket of soapy water. You can use sugar soap. I've just, um, you know, put some uh, detergent in there, like some washing up liquid. And you can either get a spray bottle. Where's my spray bottle? Just get a spray bottle with some water and detergent in it, sugar soap, whatever you want to use. Dampen them all down, you don't want to make it too wet. And just wipe it down just to clean it up, get all your dust off. As I've got to do the sealers as well, I've got this bucket down here. And all I'm going to do is a squeegee one that you can squeeze out, not all over the floor. Try and squeeze most of the water out you can, and then just uh, wash the walls. I'm just going to go around the walls in the ceiling. Uh, well, I'll probably, I'm probably just going to use this for really the top parts of the walls in the ceiling. Just make it easier. So we just wash all these down, then we come back for and uh, be ready to start painting. All right, sorry about the light. If it's bad, it's getting a, it's getting a bit late now. Look at the walls. You don't really know how good they're going to be. Until you've started, uh, until you start painting them, and then you'll see once you once you've got paint on there, you'll see all the imperfections. So we're going to give this a quick spray now. We've wiped everything down. We've de-dusted everything. Wiped it all down with a damp cloth, so we should be ready to go. Now I have a confession to make. I saw a Wagner sprayer on the Ideal Home channel. Why am I watching the Ideal Home channel? I don't know, it was just, it was there, it was on, but they were selling a, a Wagner Flexio sprayer. And I think it was something like 50, 50 quid cheaper than anywhere else you could buy it. But I feel ashamed of myself that I bought something off a home bloody shopping channel. But anyway, we're gonna give this a go. We're just, cause we're back to sort of, we got bare bits of plaster in some places and the bit of plaster we did on the ceiling, so. We're going to use our sprayer for this, we're just going to like give it a mist coat, so we're just going to use some emulsion, water it down, uh, but that will give us some idea of what our wall is looking like. Let's have a look at this thing I bought. All right, we've got it on, in bits here on the floor. Uh, this is basically our pot and our spray head that goes on there. This is the box everything comes in, which is nice and neat. All your sprayers fit in there. Your hose, yeah, our hose, which is that one and the gun part 
that all sits in the top of the lid and basically everything like sits inside there and close it up lock it plug the front in there uh, you've got uh, you've got your air power on the top of that thing uh, you've got this one where you can change the front of it to uh, you're spraying horizontal lines or vertical lines or if you angle it at 45 degrees it will spray a circle so we just get our pot and we've got a mixer these little bits on the side of her taking tin lids off and a bit at the end a bit at the end there for getting tin lids off and you've also got a little pointy part there cleaning cleaning your nozzles out and air, your air holes there and your paint nozzle in the end. So we're just going to put some paint in here. We've got a little marker on here so you can either fill it up to there and then go past the line with water which is, says it's 10% or fill it up to there with paint and up to there with water again that's 10% uh, dilution. So we've got some of our emulsion there just going to put it in there mix it with some water and get spraying and see what it's like. Alright, so we've actually, uh, we've actually watered this down by 20%. So, just take our top, screw that on. Now, I've not even used this before, so this is a first. Forgive my ignorance. Now, according to what they on the TV, <laughs> according to the Home Shopping Channel, just pushes in and turns and clips in down there. Now we've got adjustments on the back for the airflow. So we'll leave that on eight for now. You've got an adjustment on the back here on the trigger, which basically screws the knob out, which controls how much paint is let out. So I'm just going to leave that in the middle somewhere. Well, we've got our nozzle set vertically, which means the spray is going to come out that way, horizontal. Uh, you've got a setting on the side here, which I think is for a thin spray or a wide spray. So we're going to put that on wide. We're just going to turn it on. So you've got a power button down here. You can turn that on. And then you have an on and off button there. That's uh, probably about as loud as your, probably about as loud as a Hoover. All right, let's straighten you up now so you can see the wall. Well, I know you can't see all of the wall, but you can see most of it. I'll try and get as much as I can in. Well, right, usually when you start using one of these, you get yourself a bit of cardboard, and you'll um, adjust your flow. You can adjust your air rate. Uh, just how much um, how much paint is coming out of the nozzle so you can test whether you're getting a load of paint coming out or too much paint coming out and whether you want to reduce it but this is only going to be a mist coat so I'm just going to spray a bit and I will if it's too much I'll turn it down too little obviously I'll turn it up so switch it on spurted out I mean really you should um, really you should use a, a sieve or a filter to filter your paint into there because if you get any lumps in there obviously it's going to block that little nozzle up and I've got a few times where it's like and spat it out but it's just a mist coat we can scrape any bits off afterwards we just want to see what the wall is looking like so let's get some more paint now let's fill it up this time Yeah, think of that. Hello. Are you 
Two tops I've gone for it. My phone is caked. Hang on. Is it? Yeah. It doesn't look caked, Sonny. You can't see it. No. No, you won't be able to see it all over my screen, will you? It's the next day. Everything's perfectly dry. I don't know whether this is showing go. I'm not sure if I want a camera or not. But you can see there's tide marks, like water marks, all over the place. That's one of the worst ones. You know, I've not seen I've not seen this come up before. I mean where I've put the new plasterboard up and a new plaster, the paint stuck lovely. That's an internal wall, that one's looking fine. But yeah, I've got all these tide marks. Like down there along the floor as well. So Yeah, so I've never seen this. I've never seen this happen before. I've had a damp meter on there and uh, the wall seems perfectly dry. According to the damp meter, you know, it's, it doesn't feel damp, it's dry to the touch. And the damp meter says there's hardly any moisture in there all at all, so it's fine. Uh, so I've just done what everyone else does and Google it. What it could be is if the roof has leaked previously or there's been other leaks in here before it could be like old damp which doesn't mean it's damp now the problem could have been fixed which the problem has probably has been fixed but it's just strange that I never saw this watermarks before maybe that's why they uh, paper all over it but anyway a lot of um, from what I've seen online is a lot of people are saying put like a uh, a gloss or a stain remover like a primer, like a, a solvent based paint, like an oil, so the stains don't come back through. Because what they say is no matter how much, how many coats of emulsion you give this, the stain will still come back through. Even someone said they had replastered over the wall where there were stains, and the stains have still come through the new plaster. Uh, but we haven't got any gloss paint on us at the moment. But what I'm going to try and do, see if it works, is just mix up some um, PBA and water. Slap that on the walls. We'll, we'll do like a test patch. We'll do like a little patch here, the tie mark down the bottom. And actually we'll do that worst one that's up on the ceiling. We'll get some PBA on there and then we'll just go and give it another coat anyway because I need to do a bit more sanding down and filling. So we'll PBA up a couple of pieces and we'll give the other coat a wall because it's only really had like one coat, just a mist spray so you can still see you know, so it's not, a, it's not had a thick coat of paint yet but, so yeah, we'll mix up some PBA we'll coat a few of the patches, see if that works I mean that's actually up there, that's, this is an internal wall it's even got, I don't know if you can see on the camera, it's even got like a bit of staining on there like I said, I've never had this happen before, but then I probably haven't really done that much painting before, only on like a few houses. Well, we're back again. Another day. Another day in the little room. Just to let you know, the uh, putting a PBA mix on the wall for it one didn't help with the uh, didn't help with the water stains, but I kind of had a feeling it wouldn't. I think this house was sent to test me.